Hello everyone, welcome back to The Budget Sportsman. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. It is midsummer here in central Pennsylvania, but it is unseasonably cold today. And so it made it a great day to come out and review some camo. However, it is windy and I hope you can hear me over the wind. As I said, today I'm gonna to be giving you my first look slash kind of a review at some new camo. You can see me wearing it here and this camo is from True Timber and it is in their Strata pattern. Now what I'm going to be doing on today's video is I'm going to go over every piece of camo that I'm wearing here today as well as another whole box full here at my feet and I'm just going to go through and talk to you about how it fits me. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the features and what I like about each piece and also I'm going to put down the name of each piece down below here on a bar with the price so that you uh, know right away because I can't remember all the prices and the names of these pieces, but I'll make sure to put them up on screen for you. Now, before we dive into it, there's a couple of things I want to address. First of all, True Timber did send me not quite all, but almost all of this gear. They reached out to me and uh, asked me if I'd be interested in looking at some of their camo, and I'm like, hey, I hunt, I'm a redneck. Who doesn't want some more camo? Of course, I'll at least check it out. Now, what they wanted at the time was they wanted uh, me to basically sign an exclusive that only basically all I would ever wear on this channel was True Timber camo. And I just wasn't willing or ready to do that, especially since I had never tried it. So we went back and forth a little bit and eventually they agreed uh, to just send me this stuff as long as I would make a review and show all of you. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Don't worry, I'm not getting paid or being told what to say and you are gonna get my honest review here. Now, another thing that I do want to mention is that True Timber Strata is a camo pattern but this particular gear is actually made by True Timber. Let me explain what I mean. You can go to Bass Pro Shop and you can find gear that's in this same camo pattern. You can go to Cabela's and find gear in the same camo pattern, but made by a different clothing manufacturer. I've seen it made by Redhead, which is Bass Pro's brand. I've actually seen it in, I think, Scent Locker or Scent Lock. I don't remember what it is. One of those scent brands um, has some gear in True Timber pattern. This particular gear, while it is True Timber camo pattern, is also actually made by True Timber. So I just want you to be aware of that and know what clothing that I'm reviewing here. So if you go see some stuff somewhere else in the same camo pattern, it may not necessarily be the same. So the last thing I want to mention is that I am a uh, about six foot one tall guy here. I would like to tell you I'm 180 pounds. I'm not. I'm about 200 pounds. I just shy of 200 pounds. I have a 35-ish, 36-inch waist and about a 34-inch inseam. So as I go through all this stuff, I'll tell you what size I'm wearing in all these different uh, pieces of gear and uh, tell you how it fits. All right, so let's dive into all of this gear, starting with the pants that I'm wearing right now. These pants, I think they're called true suede pants. Again, I'll put it up on screen, but these are a typical pair of hunting pants. They're very soft material. They're not gonna make any noise whatsoever. They've got a couple of uh, thigh pockets here that button down uh, pretty much exactly what you would expect. Now, this is not probably one of the more premium pieces that True Timber has here. There's some pieces that maybe feel a little bit more premium, but overall, they feel really, really nice. And these are definitely going to be probably my new go-to archery season pants, especially in the early season. They've got just a, a touch of warmth to them, but overall, a relatively lightweight pair of pants that's gonna be super quiet and function really well and super comfortable. They have a little bit of elastic in the waistband and they're very comfortable to wear. I'm really pleased with this pair of pants. Probably the nicest pair of pants that I've had because I've been using some ratty tatty pants for quite a number of years now. So these I would call a lightweight pair of pants. Um, and then up on top here, I'm wearing a mid-weight jacket. Now this is a soft shell jacket. It has a little bit of stretch to it, really nice material. You can see it's got a couple of, uh, I guess you call them hand warmer pockets down here. It's got a chest pocket up here, throw your phone or whatever in like that. It's zippered, it's got some Velcro closures, and it's got a pretty nice fit to it. It fits me pretty well. Now, if I was to have one complaint about this jacket, it's that the collar is a little bit bulky right here, and it kind of doesn't always want to stay folded down. This jacket does come with a hood that I've chosen to remove. One of the reasons is um, that when you put the hood on, it actually Velcros into the corner of the uh, collar right here and it's already a little bit bulky because you have pieces of velcro inside the collar for that velcro connection point but when you put the hood in there it becomes even more bulky so that's one downside to this jacket but overall i typically tend to wear a hat if it gets pretty cool or a warm beanie hat so i just chose to remove the hood and remove some of that bulk from the jacket underneath the jacket here 
is a shirt, and I guess I'll go ahead and take the jacket off so you can see it, even though it is a little cool today. This is a nice, lightweight, kind of performance kind of shirt. It's got some almost like mesh sort of material here. It's real stretchy, kind of sport material. I really like this shirt. This is going to be great for those uh, turkey hunts, early season uh, archery hunts, those kind of things. Uh, fits pretty well. Again, it's a large. Fits me pretty well. Um, depending on how maybe how long you like your sleeves if you like your sleeves really long these aren't gonna be super long on you if you're my my height but overall I think it fits me really really well this is gonna be a shirt that I'm gonna be wearing a whole lot all right so next up is going to be this hoodie now I would say this is almost even heavier than the jacket I'm wearing right now and uh, it is super nice when I let me turn it inside out and I hope you can see this but it has got this like high pile fleece I don't think this is what you would necessarily classify as like Sherpa but it's a super high pile fleece and this thing is really warm now we don't keep our house exceptionally warm uh, in the winter time and i tend to wear a hoodie around the house all the time but i've tried wearing this hoodie in the house and it's just about too warm for inside the house but this is a super super comfortable hoodie i actually use this to sleep in on a camping trip in the spring when it's pretty cool super comfortable to sleep in and because you get that super soft fleece inside the hood i actually pulled it up over my head and just was just, I don't know, it was great. Laid it on top of my blow up camping pillow, which isn't very soft and it made it really soft. So this piece here is, um, I don't know, probably one of my favorite pieces. Uh, of course you got the True Timber logo and the True Timber words on there, but this is really an awesome piece. Uh, next up, I guess since we're on the topic of jackets, I guess we'll go to the heavyweight jacket. And uh, this is a pretty decent heavyweight jacket here. Uh, I'm not going to put it on for, well, I guess I will. I might as well put it on. You get a better look at it. One of the things I appreciate about this heavyweight jacket is on the sleeves here, you actually have a little bit of like a stretchy material that's going to go out over. If you've ever worn a bunch of layers at once, kind of like I'm doing right now, putting it over another jacket, it, it doesn't really bind up on your under, the cuff of your under layer like a lot of jackets do. It's got a nice stretchy inner lining here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully you can. Um, one thing you're going to have is you're going to have multiple pockets here on the outside, some that are just slip your hands in right here. You can have some button pockets up here. Again, you've got another chest pocket right here. And then you've got some inner pockets as well. Now, I haven't had a chance to really test this out as far as how warm it is in hunting season yet. I've only been re wearing some of the light and midweight layers in turkey season and uh, for some random different uh, fishing and hunting trips and so forth. But I haven't really got to try these out in the cooler months but it's got a zipper system as well as buttons. Now when I take this off, a couple of interesting things about the back is that it actually has a pass-through right here for your safety harness. So if you're a regular tree stand guy rather than a saddle hunter, you can pass your safety harness uh, tether through here and you don't have to have it coming out your neck. And it also has a place here if your state requires you to wear your license on your back, you can put it right here through these little grommets and not be poking holes in your jacket. Now, this does have a hood also. Both of these jackets have hoods. I chose to remove the hood off of this one as well. But overall, this is a nice jacket that I think is gonna do pretty well at keeping me warm. However, it does have a lot bulkier feel than this. So I'll be interested to kind of see in archery season uh, how that holds up and whether or not it's too bulky. But I think it's very similar to some of the other jackets I've been wearing in the last couple of years. And so I'm excited to put this one to the test. So let's go ahead and talk about these pants right here. These are the mid-weight pants. And these are going to pretty much be a match to the jacket I'm wearing right now. These are really nice. In fact, these are probably one of the pieces here that I'm most excited about. I've never really had a mid-weight pair of pants. I've always just had a lightweight pair of camo pants that I'd have to pile layers underneath the best I could. These are really going to be a big advantage, I believe, when it comes to those sort of mid mid, you know, mid to late archery season before it gets really cold, but when you definitely need to add some warmth. Inside, and I should have mentioned this on the jacket as well, but you kind of get this waffle pattern. It is a soft, you know, thin sort of insulation, but there is some insulation value to this. One of the nice touches is these pants have a uh, sort of sticky lining inside the uh, waistband here. It's going to help keep them from pulling down and falling down. Again, they have this sort of stretchy material, super nice. There's several nice touches on these. You get a nice uh, reinforced corner of your pocket here where you can put your knife. You get a reinforced heel area on the boot where your boot might be rubbing uh, down here by the heel. You're going to get a reinforcement here. This is like a real, uh, I don't know, it's, it's flexible, but it's a much tougher, I don't know, Cordura type of material maybe would be the right word. Uh, it's going to be a, a bit tougher there and help to reinforce that heel. Um, you got some zippered hip pockets back here, which are really nice. 
One thing I appreciate about the zippers that True Timber uses is that they tend to be very smooth, at least I think they are, very smooth. So uh, again, you get a couple of uh, side pockets here on the side of your legs. Now, one thing that's interesting that I find a little bit uh, maybe frustrating is that there's actually a flap over where the buttons go through. So there's like two layers here on the flap and the buttons are on the, the back flap. So you kind of got to reach in there and get those buttons undone. Now, I kind of wish, to be honest with you, these zippers on the back are, are pretty quiet. I kind of wish they just put zippers on the side pockets, but I guess for the sake of hunting and, and full stealth mode, uh, that they probably went with the buttons for that reason. But that's really my only complaint about this pair of pants. Again, size large. I'd say I might be between a medium and a large in this. I tried a pair of mediums and they fit, but they just felt a little tight. Uh, the largers are going to give me the ability to go ahead and maybe run some base layers underneath here to just get a little bit more warmth out of this pair of pants. Again, this is probably one of the pieces I'm most excited about, and these are the mid-weight pants. Continuing on the topic of pants, here is a pair of lightweight pants, and these are super light. Uh, these are probably not going to get used a whole lot for me in archery season. Uh, these are going to be more of a really super early archery season if we get hot weather, or turkey season, or maybe even some fishing trips and that kind of stuff. These are super, super lightweight, a very, very thin material. They are stretchy. They feel super nice. Again, you get a reinforced heel down here on the leg. Uh, you get a side pocket. This is probably hard to tell, but you get a side pocket on the side of the leg. You get a zippered pocket on the back. Again, again, very smooth zipper. And once again, I wish with this pair of pants that they had had a zipper on the side here. Again, for the way I'm going to use them, I don't think that would have been an issue for noise. Uh, but if you hunt down south, you hunt some super warm climates, uh, these are a super, super nice pair of pants. Again, I probably tend to fall on the pants a little bit between medium and large, but overall, I just felt like all of the pairs of pants that I tried in mediums just felt too tight and too small, and so went with large on these. These do fit fairly loose on me, but I just don't think that the mediums would be very comfortable for me. Again, I'm about that 35 to 36 inch waist. If you're down about a 33, 34 inch waist, medium might be right for you. Again, I also have long legs, so getting the larger size uh, gave me a little bit of extra length on the legs because they don't sell waist and leg sizes individually. All right, we got another long sleeve shirt here as well. This is very similar to the shirt that I'm wearing, but it has a little bit different feel to it. It's very similar in material, but it has a zipper pocket over here on the arm. Now, I find that this is not, I don't know, super useful for me. It fits, looks like it should fit your phone, but this shirt is so lightweight and so stretchy that the weight of my phone in there just isn't that comfortable. But maybe if you were uh, elk hunting or turkey hunting and you wanted to throw some calls in there, something small, something light, that'd be great. One thing that it has is it has these uh, thumb loops here at the end, so when you're putting on a jacket over this, you can kind of keep this from sliding up with your jacket. And that works really, really nice. Now, one thing about this shirt is that it is definitely advertised in is a shirt, but with the features like the zipper and those thumb loops, it almost feels like it was intended to be a jacket or a sun hoodie. It's not. Uh, it's definitely a shirt. Um, but if I was to pick between this shirt and the shirt that I'm wearing, they're both really nice. I think I'd probably go with the shirt that I'm wearing, although this one has a little different cut to it. This one's maybe a little bit larger, and if you have long arms, uh, this one may fit you a little bit better, even though both are a size large. But I actually like both of these shirts. They're both really, really nice. And um, this reminds me, though, of something that's, that some other companies would put a hood on and make it like a little sun hoodie uh, for out fishing and that kind of thing. All right, one more big piece we have in here is a pair of bibs. Now, these bibs are, well, they're size large also. They've got some nice uh, elastic kind of uh, shoulder straps here. Let me, if I stand up, you're not going to be able to see me, but I'll just stand up here a little bit. Again, they have the side pockets here with the, uh, the uh, actually, this one has a snap rather than a button and a buttonhole. It actually has a snap. But you also get a secondary zipper pocket that comes in from the side. And you get that, um, well, I guess you get that just on one side of the pant leg. You do get a zipper that comes up about knee high, uh, so you can slip your boot through there. And then, in addition to that, I believe you get, yes, you get a couple of pockets um, up here, which would be kind of where your, your hands would go around your, your regular pocket that you would expect. These uh, are insulated, so I think these are going to be a really nice option uh, in those colder months. Uh, and I think actually maybe wearing the mid-weight pants under the bibs is going to give you a really, really warm layering system. We just have a couple of items left here. 
that I'm going to show you some, some more of the accessories and so forth. This is a really nice beanie hat and uh, it's pretty warm. I've worn it a good bit here in the early spring months. It is sort of a nice, uh, I don't know, I guess felt or soft fleece line. I guess fleece would be the better word for it. Now, one thing that I've noticed, and this is not necessarily specific to true timber, but I like to wear my beanie hats over a ball cap so I still get the sort of the sun visor. Now, my old beanie hat that I've been wearing for a number of years actually comes down and folds up, so there's plenty of room to come down over my ears and stretch out over that hat. Now, it's not specific to true timber. It seems like everybody's doing it, um, but this does not have a way to fold up. So if I wear it over my hat, it eh, doesn't quite cover the tips of my ears. If I wear it without a hat, then it's going to come down over my ears just fine. So it's not, not really a knock of true timber. This is pretty much how everybody's making their beanie hats these days. But um, just be aware of that if you're interested in this cap. Overall, nice and warm, nice and comfortable. Fits me uh, pretty well. I think this is probably a one size fits most. Uh, this is a men's one size, it says. So, And I guess while I'm at it, I should mention that I am wearing a true timber ball cap here as well. This is a snapback, which I typically don't go for snapbacks as much as something like a Velcro back or uh, just a one size stretchy hat and has mesh on the back. But overall, kind of gotten used to wearing this and it's kind of become my new go-to hat. You've seen it on the YouTube channel already quite a bit. Um, a few more accessories here. We have got um, a face mask, and this is sort of that same material as some of the, the lightweight uh, shirts and so forth. And this is a, a face mask that has a hood as well. So you can kind of cover up your entire face and your head. If you want, you can throw your hat back over it. Or uh, I've even worn it sometimes where I go ahead and just pull it up over my hat when I'm turkey hunting, and I can just pull it down like this, and I can go ahead and pull it up over my hat, pull it up over my face, make sure I'm getting maximum uh, coverage and maximum hiding ability. So really nice, super stretchy, super thin face mask. And then along with that, a pair of same, very similar material, thin gloves. And these are great for those early season uh, archery hunts as well as turkey hunting. These, these worked great this year for turkey season. They are touchscreen compatible. They fit really well and super thin. And I actually tend to not wear gloves when I'm archery hunting. Um, but these I may wear just because they're so thin and so light and aren't going to really mess with my dexterity. And then finally, you can see here, I haven't even opened this pair yet because these are a warmer pair of gloves. I would not call them super warm. These aren't going to be for your late season hunts, but for maybe some more mid season hunts, this is a nice pair of gloves. Now these are not touch compatible and I'm finding that these do not fit my hands quite as well. Originally, I had a size large in this, this pair of gloves and they were just, I've got long fingers and they just weren't long enough to kind of reach back there and, and fit over my hand the way I wanted it to. However, in the size extra large, the fingers kind of feel a little bit bulky on my, uh, each of the fingers of the gloves feel bulky around my fingers and don't fit quite like that last lightweight pair of gloves that I just showed you. But overall, a nice pair of gloves. Now, the last thing in the box, and I'm not, really probably not much point in showing you, but these are the two hoods uh, that come off of the jackets that I showed you previously. This would be for the mid-weight jacket, the material matches. You've got that waffle material on the inside. And you're gonna see there's a little uh, draw cord here in the back where you can kind of pull it up and cinch it around. And the same on this one, this is for the heavier jacket. You've got a waffle material, but you can kind of tell it's a little heavier, maybe a little bit of insulation in there. And you kind of got the same thing here where you have a draw cord in the back where you can cinch it up right around your ears. You also have a draw cord in the front where you can cinch it in this direction, which I guess the other one did as well. All right, the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna show you some videos of me in different situations in the woods and let you make a decision about how you think the camo pattern performs. Keep in mind that this is the summer. This is June, we're at full green, as green as it's gonna get here in Pennsylvania. And so this may not be the same conditions that I would typically spend deer hunting, although it may be a match to the early archery season. But take a look, see what you think, and make a decision about how well you think this camo pattern performs.
All right, so now that we've shown you all these different pieces of gear and we've shown you the camo out in the woods to see how it breaks up my outline, I wanna give you my conclusions and my review. Keep in mind, this is an initial review, short-term review. Most of this gear showed up in time for me to use it for uh, turkey season, but that's pretty much warm climate. So I've used some of the warmer layers and some of the mid layers, but some of the mid layers and some of the heavy layers, I've just not had a chance to use yet because I haven't gone through those colder month hunting seasons. So again, these are somewhat initial impressions or short-term reviews. So far, I've been really pleased with everything that I've gotten to put to test in the woods and those that I've tried just at the house. Keep in mind that I come from a background of wearing some ratty tatty pants for the last 10 years probably that are worn out and have needed to be replaced for quite a while. I've worn hand-me-downs. I've worn stuff picked up from Goodwill. I've worn stuff from Walmart. I've never in my life had a matching set of camo that was all the same. So to have a really nice set of matching camo to me feels like a huge upgrade and it is. But I wanna give you the flip side of that and say I don't feel like this camo is necessarily just the top of the line most premium camo. I think it's really nice, just not quite top of the line. Now, as a budget sportsman, I'm probably never gonna own top of the line. But I wanna make a brief comparison here about the price between this and the top of the line camo. So you've been looking all through the video, you've been watching the prices down below, and so you've probably already made up your mind about whether or not you think this camo is affordable or not. Just to give you a reference though, all of this camel that I just showed you, most of which was sent by True Timber, some of which I decided I wanted, I wanted to keep with the lineup, I liked it enough that I was gonna be willing to expand my collection and I bought a few pieces myself, but all of it combined, what they sent me and what I bought, would total somewhere I think in the neighborhood of 700 to $750. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that's a bundle of money. However, look at what I got. Let's start with the pants. I got two lightweight pairs of pants, I got a midweight pair of pants and I got a pair of bibs. On the top, I got two shirts. I got a midweight jacket. I got that really nice soft hoodie. I got a heavyweight jacket. And then I got two pairs of gloves. I got a face mask. I got a ball cap and I got a beanie hat. Now, that's almost everything I need for pretty much any hunting situation here in central Pennsylvania. The only piece that I feel like is missing would be a lightweight jacket. Again, this midweight jacket is kind of light, but it's a little bit too heavy for some of those, you know, just when you need something, a windbreaker. That would, that, maybe that'd be a good way to describe it. I wish they had a windbreaker. Now I've searched the website, I haven't been able to find one, but remember I mentioned early in the video how Bass Pro Shop also uh, produces some of the Redhead brand and other companies produce their brands in the same camel pattern. Well, I did notice the other day at Bass Pro Shop that they offer some lighter weight jackets and some lightweight hoodies that might fit the bill. I just haven't picked one of those up yet. But overall, for $700 to $750, I have pretty much everything that I need for any hunting situation here in Pennsylvania. Compare that to some of the really premium, I think you know who I'm talking about, those really premium brands, and some of them you're gonna get maybe a jacket and a pair of pants or a jacket and a pair of bibs for that $700 price point. So here, I've gotten pretty much a full setup, a full collection for the same price. So while there may be a little bit of a difference in the quality or some of the areas where I think there is still room yet for improvement, overall, I think you're getting a really nice set of camo. I think the fit is pretty good. I think there's some pieces here that actually have a, a pretty premium feel to them and you're getting it for a much cheaper price point. Now for me, one of the big selling points of this camo is the Strata pattern. I absolutely love the Strata pattern. All right, so what are my conclusions so far on this camo? Well, I think if you're in the market for some new camo and you like the True Timber Strata pattern and you have a budget, in other words, you don't have a fortune, but you've got some money to spend on camo, you've got some money to go out and spend, and you're looking to do that, then I think you should at least consider picking up some of this True Timber gear. Like I said, I've been enjoying using it. I really enjoyed using it this past hunting season uh, for turkey season, and I'm really looking forward to using it this fall for all the deer seasons, especially those midweight pants. I cannot wait to try those and see how they perform once the weather starts going down just a little bit. Hey, let me know what you think of this video down in the comments. Make sure to go down there in the description box and click the link to go over to True Timber's website. They do have other camel patterns besides Strata. They've also got some gear besides just camel gear. Uh, they've got some other lifestyle clothing. I think they've got some fishing clothing. They've got a bunch of stuff. So go ahead and go over there to True Timber and check it out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.